In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Pan and Zoom. Pan and Zoom is a free generator and transition effect from FX Factory that gives you some great Ken Burns style photo animations. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but Pan and Zoom also works in Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro as well. You can find it in the Generators browser and Transitions browser under Pan and Zoom. Let's take a look at a few of the built-in presets. These presets offer a quick and easy animation or can be a great starting point to create your own. For our example, first I'll drag the pan and zoom generator to my timeline. In the viewer, we're greeted with a friendly message saying, choose an image file to begin. From the on-screen controls at the bottom, I'll click choose image file and use the file picker to select a still photo. You can also do this in the parameters by clicking the choose button. Although this effect was designed for photo animations, it will work with video files as well. Using the Image Source drop-down menu in the parameters, choose Project Media, then click the drop zone to load your clip. Back to the viewer and our still image. Now we have our photo loaded and the on-screen setup is turned on, which shows the position 1 framing and the position 2 framing with the gray boxes, and the position of the playhead within the animation with the blue box. I'll grab the dot in the center of my position 1 frame and move it. Holding the shift key will constrain the motion to horizontal or vertical. Note the guidelines that appear. Holding the command key will slow down the motion and give you coordinates on screen, which is great for accurate placement. Pressing option and clicking will allow you to reset the position. In the parameters, I'll make an adjustment to the scale of the position 1 frame and give it a little rotation. Then I'll make the position 2 frame much wider. The animation time dropdown lets you choose a method for timing the animation. I'll adjust the start at and end at percentage sliders to have a little hold at the beginning and end. There's also a background color picker that you can use if you'd like your animation to go beyond the bounds of the still photo. Lastly, I'll add some motion blur and adjust the shutter angle and offset. Next, I'll drop the pan and zoom transition between two images on my timeline. While setup mode is enabled, the transition allows you to set and preview the regions in the source and destination clips that'll be used by the effect. The region selection button lets you decide to use the same region in both clips or to select different regions in each clip for the dissolve effect. In the parameters, you can adjust the pause duration slider to determine how long the effect will pause at the point in the animation where there's no panning or zooming. The dissolve style dropdown lets you pick a range for the dissolve effect that's applied to the outgoing and incoming clips with a slider below to adjust the duration. Then fine tune the scale and rotation of your selected regions and add a little motion blur if you'd like. Pan and Zoom is a great, easy-to-use effect that gives you the familiar Ken Burns-like functionality, but with more power and options than the built-in Ken Burns effect. Best of all, it's absolutely free. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.